And welcome back to part two of lesson one for the general class operator element three exam covering the G1A questions. In this part two, we're going to be doing the G1A quiz. So take out a pencil and a piece of paper, number one through 16, and let's get started. Question one. On which of the following bands is a general class license holder granted all amateur frequency privileges? A, 20, 17, and 12 meters. B, 160, 80, 40, and 10 meters. C, 160, 30, 17, 12, and 10 meters. Or D, 160, 30, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meters. Question two. On which of the following bands is phone operation prohibited? A, 160 meters. B, 30 meters. C, 17 meters, or D, 12 meters. Question three. On which of the following bands is image transmission prohibited? A, 160 meters, B, 30 meters, C, 20 meters, or D, 12 meters. Question four. Which amateur band restricts communication to specific channels using only USB voice and prohibits all other modes including CW and data? A, 11 meters, B, 12 meters, C, 30 meters, or D, 60 meters. Question five. Which of the following frequencies is in the general class portion of the 40 meter band? A, 7.250 megahertz, B, 7.5 megahertz, C, 40.2 megahertz, or D, 40.5 megahertz. Question six. Which of the following frequencies is in the 12 meter band? A, 3.94 megahertz, B, 12.94 megahertz, C, 17.94 megahertz, or D, 24.94 megahertz. Question seven. Which of the following frequencies is within the general class portion of the 75 meter phone band? A, 1,875 kilohertz, B, 3,750 kilohertz, C, 3,900 kilohertz, or D, 4,005 kilohertz. Question eight. Which of the following frequencies is within the general class portion of the 20 meter phone band? A, 14,005 kilohertz, B, 14,105 kilohertz, C, 14,305 kilohertz, or D, 14,405 kilohertz. Question nine. Which of the following frequencies is within the general class portion of the 80 meter band? A, 1,855 kilohertz, B, 2,560 kilohertz, C, 3,560 kilohertz, or D, 3,650 kilohertz. Question 10. Which of the following frequencies is within the general class portion of the 15 meter band? A, 14,250 kilohertz, B, 18,155 kilohertz, C, 21,300 kilohertz, or D, 24,900 kilohertz. Question 11. Which of the following frequencies is available to a control operator holding a general class license? A, 28.020 megahertz, B, 28.350 megahertz, C, 28.550 megahertz, or D, all of these answers are correct. Question 12. When a general class licensee is not permitted to use the entire voice portion of a particular band, which portion of the voice segment is generally available to them? A, the lower end. B, the upper end, C, the lower end on frequencies below 7.3 megahertz, and the upper end on frequencies above 14.15 megahertz, or D, the upper end on frequencies below 7.3 megahertz, and the lower end on frequencies above 14.150 megahertz. Question 13. Which amateur band is shared with the Citizens Radio Service? A, 10 meters, B, 11 meters, C, 12 meters, or D, none? Question 14. Which of the following applies when the FCC rules designate the amateur service as a secondary user and another service as a primary user on a band? A. Amateur stations must obtain permission from a primary service station before operating on a frequency assigned to that station. B. Amateur stations are allowed to use the frequency band only during emergencies. C. Amateur stations are allowed to use the frequency band only if they do not cause harmful interference to primary users or D, amateur stations may only operate during specific hours of the day when, while primary users are permitted 24-hour use of the band. Question 15. What must you do if 
when operating on either 30 or 60 meter bands, a station in the primary service interferes with your contact. A. Notify the FCC's regional engineer in charge of the interference. B. Increase your transmitter power to overcome the interference. C. Attempt to contact the station and request that it stop the interference. Or D. Stop transmitting at once and or move to a clear frequency. And question 16. Which of the following operating restrictions applies to amateur radio stations as a secondary service in the 60 meter band? A. They must not cause harmful interference to stations operating in other radio services. B. They must transmit no more than 30 minutes during each hour to minimize harmful interference to other radio services. C. They must use lower sideband suppressed carrier only. Or D. They must not exceed 2.0 kilohertz of bandwidth. And that is it for the quiz and lesson one. So to check your answers, swing by hamwhisper.com and you'll find your answers under the exam answers page, which was formerly the tech exam answers page. But now since there's more than the technician exam on there, it's now just the exam answers page. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment boxes on the website. And until lesson two, this is Andy, K4GKP, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.